Welcome to this Panther preview of the Christmas Vocal Concerts. I'm Katie Dudzik here with my choral director, Dr. Bachvarova. Of course, one of the many highlights of uh, Hanover's Christmas season is our vocal performance of Handel's Messiah. It will be held on December 2nd of this year. Can you tell us a little bit about this event and what makes it so special? Absolutely, it will be my pleasure, Katie. It is um, a concert that is so near and dear to my heart. It has been a, uh, in our community, the Madison, Ohio Valley and Hanover College community for, um, I think this year will mark the 45th year, which is pretty amazing that a community, small community like ours, is able to sustain it for such a long time. So it is, that in itself, it's a statement for its value, for its meaning, for its traditions, and what the community uh, pours into it, the, our collective community of off-campus folks and um, us on campus here. So um, every year at the beginning of November, we get together our concert choir with the Madison Ohio Valley Community Chorus and we start rehearsals. So for four Sundays in November we practice our 16th note runs. We practice our wonderful text that starts with Comfort Ye um, of the glorious tenor solo and then goes through um, And We Shall Glorify and and concludes with the very famous and very popular and beloved, the Hallelujah Chorus. And we all are looking forward to performing that one again. I'm expecting, rehearsals have not started yet, but I'm expecting um, that it will be a very, very strong turnout. Usually we have, you know, anywhere between 80 and 100 people. Um, performing on stage. For that event, we uh, joined forces with, um, as I said, the, the Madison Ohio Valley Community Chorus, but also uh, with the Chamber Orchestra from uh, Louisville area, and they make their trip here for the dress rehearsal, and then we um, perform together on the day of the event. What makes Messiah such a beloved piece of yours, of the community, of ours, the students? Well, I think uh, Messiah, in its nature, the music, the way it is put together, this glorious um, telling of the story of Christ, that especially for the section that we're performing, the birth of Christ, of course, it's such a, a really a sacred moment that has been portrayed so beautifully by Handel in his work. He uses what we call text painting, and text painting is when the actual literary text is presented with music in the musical text so that those two images combine or coincide. For example, sometimes when the word run would appear in the score, we will have very, very fast moving 16th notes that will represent that run. Or, um, for example, there is that famous phrase from one of the tenor solos, um, the Lord shall render the crooked straight. So when <clears throat> Uh, the tenor is singing the word crooked, the melody moves up and down in the wave-like motif. And when we go to straight, then the note is sustained for quite a prolonged period of time. So that type of imagery relates very, very actively, directly and completely with both performer and um, the listener. And there is, of course, something majestic about the overture or the opening um, instrumental part of um, the Messiah. The Hallelujah Chorus is, of course, the one that brings us to our feet every year. Another Christmas concert will be held on November 29th and will feature the Chamber Singers. Dr. B, this is a select group that performs a cappella. Tell, like, can you tell us a little bit about what we will hear from them this year? 
Well, I don't think I'm going to share that many secrets, but I can tell you that it's going to be fun, it's going to be exciting. We, as uh, we have done in the past few years, um, we have started a sing-along. So the audience will have a chance to sing with us and to sing beloved Christmas carols, the ones that we all know and grew up with and associate the beginning of the Christmas season or the holiday season uh, with them. But we also are going to explore how other uh, countries or other cultures um, do celebrate um, the holiday season. So I have a bit, a few, um, international carols planned and of course we always have solos um, and maybe uh, duets and we are excited that um, the chapel is a space that it's very sonorous and so um, we sing easily there we enjoy uh, being in that space and we will welcome our friends there. Usually concerts are held in the Fitzgibbon recital hall but this one will be held in the Brown Campus Chapel. Can you tell us how that might impact the performance differently? I think it's just perfect for, for um, what we're singing about. And the, the place is in the chapel, and the stained glass windows um, will just enhance the mood of this uh, late afternoon, early evening performance and um, I think the, our audiences will just be immersed in the atmosphere of the holidays and they would um, get a chance to participate with us, to enjoy hopefully our festive, bright and shiny attire and um, uh, just hear us sing at our, our most jolly uh, way. Well, it sounds like the choral program will be getting us right into the holiday spirit. The Christmas at Hanover concert in the campus chapel at 5 p.m. on Thursday, November 29th, and the Messiah performance Sunday, December, December 2nd at 2 p.m. in the Center for Fine Arts. Thank you for joining me. Thank you very much, Katie.